Hey folks, I like to share cool things that I buy and this is something very cool, this thing behind me. This is the Quick Lock uh, guitar stand uh, for seven guitars. And so this was pretty awesome. I, so I'd, I've got a lot of guitars and so the question most people say is, Tony, how many guitars are enough? Well, most guitar players will tell you just one more. <laughs> so anyway, but these are the seven guitars that I play mostly. I got, I've got a bass on here, a P bass type uh, copy. I've got my Ibanez uh, ES type guitars. I've got my uh, favorite Strat. I got well, actually, my favorite Strat may be in the house, but I got American Telly, uh, some Les Paul copies and things. But this is what you typically see me playing in my videos. So I just wanted to share this very nice, well built stand. It was a hundred and sixteen dollars and fifty five cents, I believe, on Amazon. Uh, it did not have real good instructions showing how to put it together, but it was the picture on the front was so self-explanatory. It was not a problem. It took me, you know, 10, 15 minutes to put it together. Uh, just looking at the pictures, uh, the hardest part of it was screwing the wheels on, honestly, because it was, you know, a lot of threads you had to turn and it comes with a little wrench that you can tighten up. It did come with a couple of, uh, of little felt pieces here that, uh, it says to use if you have a vintage guitar. So these are like little felt that you can put on these little rubber things. But these are rubber, I, and I've had some vintage acoustics, and I don't think that the rubber would bother my acoustics at all. You see it's very flexible, supple, nice rubber here. Um, uh, this is just very, very nice, sturdy stand, wheels locked down, screws together, folds up real fast. Would I take it on the road with me? I guess if I had a roadie or somebody and I really wanted to like show a whole bunch of guitars, I would. Usually if I go out to play, I take a couple guitars, you know, like a Strat and a Tele or a Strat and Tele Les Paul, and I just leave them laying on a case. Uh, so probably, I, you know, me personally, I'm not a road warrior, but I think this would be a very road worthy, uh, uh, you know, piece of gear. It did not come with a carrying case of any sort or anything like that. Um, and, and, and I, so I'm, I'm, I'm showing you close-ups of how the guitar is set in there. I have all uh, electrics on here, of course, now, but it would hold acoustics just fine. And you have acoustics and electrics on it. Seven guitars up off the floor out of the way, no stress on the necks. Uh, very well constructed. Somebody, I, I read one review that said that it wobbles in some way. Mine does not wobble at all. It's super sturdy. Maybe he just needed to tighten down his uh, bolts or something, but... To me, it's the best one that, that there, this was like 116 bucks and there was one at Guitar Center by somebody else, Proline or something like that. I can't remember what the name of it was. And it was like half as nice as this and it was a hundred bucks. So this is to me, um, I did, did my research, Quick Lock, excellent guitar stand. If you want a multiple, like seven guitar stand, highly recommend this one. I'm tickled to death with it. It's a, a nice solution for me to get some guitars off the floor uh, and I have some of my other favorite, favorite ones that hang on the wall, but I kind of like this. I think I might even get another one and uh, find another spot somewhere out of the way. I, like, I like, kind of like this one up on top of this server out in my uh, studio. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to my channel if you like. If you have any questions about it, let me know. I'll try my best to answer. Thanks for watching.